Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. Some of you guys have been asking how to remove heavy scratches without using sandpaper. We're going to show you how to do that today with the AAT 501. Be able to remove all those scratches, heavy to mild scratches, without using sandpaper. Although, if you do use sandpaper, it will be done a little bit quicker, more even way, but a lot of us want to be able to do that without uh, using the use of sandpaper. So we're going to show you how to do that in a second right now. So we have a nice little scratch here. We've touched it with our fingernail. A lot of us have these in our cars, scratches that uh, we're not sure if we can remove it. If our fingernail grabs it, we don't want to mess with it. But since with this scratch, we can feel it, but we can't grab onto it. We're going to take uh, AAT 501 rubbing compound and we're going to remove it. We're going to do this first by evening out the product in five small dots, even it over the area that you want to do the work. Now we're not just going at the, after the one scratch, we're going to clean up the whole area. We're going to go nice, slow, back and forth, even motions. Uh, make sure that we work the scratch. Now because of the nature of our products, we don't have to move our hands back and forth. We're running at about 1,200 RPMs and have a slight angle on it, about anywhere from 6 to 10 degrees, uh, depending on comfort level. And we do that because that kind of forces the uh, product and the wool pad down instead of you having to actual push on it and uh, apply anything, apply any pressure, you know, let anything heavier than moderate pressure. So we're gonna go through and, and cut out this whole area. Looks like we've removed the heavy scratch. We're just gonna make sure we remove all the rest of the scratches. You can see the scratch is 100% gone. Now what's gonna be left behind is going to be a hologram or a swirl mark or a wheel mark, depending on which area you live, is what you are going to be calling it. We call it a hologram because it does actually kind of uh, pull out and kind of a three-dimensional look, as well as also, we also consider it a swirl mark because that's what's left behind by the wool pad. You'll notice around the edges here that the 501 is drying up on the pad and you got a little bit of, of dust, and that is normal and that is something that we want to have happen so you don't get built up on the pad. So we've gone and removed it. We're going to take and wipe down the surface to make sure all of our scratches are done and we have a clean surface area for our time to get into polishing. You see the swirl marks and the holograms, but no scratches. Now technically a swirl mark is a scratch, but none of the scratches that were there when we were working on it the first time. So now we're going to grab a K56 spider pad, put 502 on it, Spread it out nice and even, and even back and forth motions, nice and slow. Cover the area we've done our work on, and remove those swirl marks and holograms. Nice and even back and forth motions. We've crossed hatch ourselves here, just to make sure that we have leveled out those holograms completely. Go back and forth one more time. We're not looking to work in the product, we're looking to make sure all of our swirl marks and holograms are gone. And we do that by going nice and even, slow back and forth motions, looking at what we've done, not necessarily where we're going, and we can see and tell through the polish, especially if you don't apply too much, just make sure, again, you apply four dime size drops onto that pad and work in a two by two area to make sure that the product is not being overused. And we are just about done. Now that we've gone through and completed the polishing process, we're gonna take a nice clean microfiber towel. Make sure there's no debris in it. We're going to fold it over and wipe it off and even back and forth motions. Wipes off easily. Wow, look at that shine. Looks fantastic. There's no other scratches on there. Looks like a new, new car should. That's where the scratch was. See that it's gone. Got a nice, clean, flawless finish without any scratches. Appreciate you taking the time to check us out and watching and how, learning how to use AAT 501 cutting compound and AAT 502 finishing polish. We hope you learned a lot from it. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Share us with your friends. That way, you and your friends keep up to date with all three of these latest, greatest, innovative carpet care products. Until next time, I'm Don Williams. We'll see you soon. I think it's coming back. Dude, the power. I feel, I feel alive.